Hey, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Zombie Cat adventure here on Zombie Cat server. I'm Asher Zombie Cat. Today, we're going to be looking at a little bit of a base showcase and how or what not to do for a starter base. So here you can get, as I said yesterday in yesterday's video that I put out was I made an area here at our welcome center where when the first new person comes to our server, they can spawn their bag here, put the sleep bag down, put their utility box down. You know, has all their starter gear and everything. Got a couple rocks over here and some trees here. They can get some practice on. So this base here is actually um, Dash's base. Uh, interesting build. I don't know what it, I don't know what he was trying to go for, but I've got kind of got an idea. It looks good though. Looks uh, he's getting it there. He's getting it. This build, I'm very familiar with the design. It is a design I quite often use myself. It is definitely good for repelling zombies, keeping them away from your base. You got to put some turrets up and get up on top of the walls there on those rails to be able to defend the base, keep them off your off your doors as well. If you got doors, they're going to go right, make a beeline right for the door. So up here, we've got a mountain base from Mr. He's Mr. is a great dude and one of the admins on our server here. So he's got a uh, nice little base here. He's got a runway here because he loves to fly on his little gyrocopter there. So he ended up making a fairly decent base and he's trying to shoot me with a nail gun here. He's like, get off my lawn, get off my lawn. So anyway, he decided to build inside of a mountain. That's exactly what he did. He's got several gyrocopters up in here. He's got a nice little in base or in mountain base here. He goes all the way through the mountain here, and he's got a couple bathrooms here. He likes to decorate. He likes. He loves building. He loves doing crazy shit. So yeah, it took him forever to to dig most of this out. He's got a shit ton of stone. So here we got an outside view of what it looks like looking out, looking in, you know, between the walls here. If you are able to go through the walls as an admin, you could do so. He's got a lot of room here. It, is this a jacuzzi? What the hell? It's got a hot tub and jacuzzi. Hell yeah, there you go. Hell yeah, I'm down for that. And this is a bit of for his runways here. He's got stuff going on here. And as I was moving through here, it doesn't pick up his audio, but he is telling me about the jail cells that he made. And that's for people trying to steal his shit, steal his fuel or whatnot. And he's got it caged up. But when I asked him where the jail was, he says, come down the other end. So it's okay. Let me see what you did. We go in here and look. Take a look. Oh shit. Oh shit. All this I didn't do it. Let me out. Let me out. <laughs> that is some cool shit right there. I like this. He ain't giving him no luxury, not a damn thing. Just some he gets a door and that's it. So here we're looking at my base here. This is something that I always do. I always do a mountain base. So I've got a ground level entrance here for vehicles. Because you know, I'm trying to. Call it the Batman cave. This is the Batman cave. This shit took forever to dig out. Let me go shut this door here, because if I don't, some damn wolves come rolling in here. Mount lions too, and I don't want a damn murder kitties on me. So anyway, see, so yeah, I got a garage here, and uh, we'll go through here, and this should take us to the housing chamber. And in here, it's got our little playroom here. It's kind of sit, sit by the fire. You want to relax and not do much? Sit there by the fire, drink some water, and relax. And we're going to go up to the manufacturing center. I pretty much make all the ammunition for the server. I make up tons of ammunition and sell them at our welcome center. Cheap prices too. More bang for your buck, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so here we have the storage facility, one of the storage facilities. And you see I'm very organized. I do not like shit out of order. So over here is our manufacturing. And that's where I do all the gunpowder, all the brass making, all the lead making, the tips and the casings. So up here we've got our airport runway here, our hangar. And as you can see, I just leave this wide open because if any zombies come down a mountain and come walking in here, these two turrets take care of business. So we're not not so worried about them sons of bitches. This is what we just fly in and land. This is Rex, Rex and Storm. I can't storm something, something storm somebody or another storm. You know what? Stormblade. There we go. I was thinking Storm Shadow. I don't know why Shadow was coming to mind. But anyway, Stormblade's base. They did a shit ton of work here. This dude, Rex, I'm telling you right now, this dude is a Rembrandt. This dude is like an artist with a building. He's always doing some crazy stuff. Some crazy off-the-wall builds. Something that I would never even think about in a million years when build built the base. But he, he's got an artistic eye. He likes to be creative, which is good. That's what this game's about. And, you know, next to not getting your ass eaten by zombies. It's, you know... So he's he's uh, quite the marvel with his builds here. So here we're going down a large ass bridge, going from one mountaintop to the next. 
you know, when most normal people are looking for flat land to build on, now this this homie's looking for a mountain to build on. Little guard here. Normally, I don't go through walls of people's bases when I'm doing a showcase, but I just want to show the creativity. What's going on? So he and his team built all of this crazy shit and hid the damn pillars with some trees. So you'll never know. It looks like the looks like the bridge is floating. Let's drop down and we'll go look at the other addition of this base here. Now I didn't spend a lot of time here. Technically I did, but for filming purposes, I didn't spend a lot of time here because it was just would have taken would have dragged the video out way longer than I wanted to. Just to give you a general idea of what they've done for the base is pretty much what I've done. Next up, we're gonna be taking a look at the Forge 2. The Forge is a base from Monkeys TV TTV which is an awesome Twitch streamer as well. Make sure I'll check him out. I'll put some information down below for that. You can take a look. So he is a shop. The server, a lot of players on the server have a server made shop or players made shop. So he decided to build his store to look like one of the new forges on this game. So he calls it the forge. And it looks like one of the damn forges that you put in your base when you're trying to get all your metals melted and everything else. He... He has done a great job with this build. And of course, he had some help from his friend Maximum Effort. They both went to town on this son of a bitch when they made this. They, they went playing around when they made this. They just was like, let's go do this. Move. We're going to make this. Over here is the Forge 1. This is the first one he's done for his shop. And this is when he was just trying to hone his building skills to see what he could do or what, you know, whatnot. And so he's kind of made a little pad here. So we're going to go in the door here. So he's got his vending machines here where he sells cheap gas along with Leroy's gas. He sells both sometimes. And he's got his stuff for building techniques and stuff for building material. Now we're taking a look at Bunker Mall Company. Bunker Mall Company is AKA Bunker Mall, cheapest gas on the server. Leroy takes and spends, or you actually will see him as Rick Grimes in game. He actually spends a lot of time mining and creating the fuel for the server. Everybody's flying around in the vehicle or driving around in the vehicle. He makes the gas for this at cheap prices too. So he's got a bunch of new vending machines here. He's usually putting different stuff in there. He sells things at great prices. And uh, so yeah, here's his, he's got a sale going on, 20% off too. It's a good businessman, trust me. Okay, so all of this he's built up from scratch. The the building we're in now actually looks like a bunker. He's got his medical section here. Any one of these vendors will have what you're definitely gonna need, trust me. If you need it, it's in one of his vendors. He spends quite a lot of time gathering these things up. He calls this Sears over here, this old house up in here calls this section Sears. He's got all the tools and stuff. As he puts it, manly tools. So he's got his book sack here for all the books, quests, schematics, and stuff that you're going to need. JC Penny on this side here. So that all your clothing wear and such. Don't sew him, JC Penny. Be nice about it. Y'all gave up anyway. Y'all quit quitters. Okay, so he did an awesome job here. He really did. Next, we're looking at Mrs food and drugs so if you're looking for the best food on our server this is where it's going to be at right here this is where it's happening tell me she ain't got it going on her and mr built the hell out of this base and it's not really a base it's actually a shop this is where she sells her food and there's no definitely no loitering on horde night here this keeps those zombies away from this location any person found loitering here on horde night will be found there on horde morning to catch my drift let's go inside take a look Wonderfully decor. They got the marble texture on the floor here and wood side wood side in here, which is really really good. The wood trim. So here's the food and drink machine. Let's see what she's got in here. She's got oh she's got some yum yums up in here. Uh, this poor woman. I, I swear everybody on the server keeps her busy with drinks and stuff. She can make easily, but here's where we kill her at food. So she raised her price up on some things, and that's why it's showing up in red here. But the problem is the material gathering for these foods are incredibly long and drawn out. So, yeah. So she, you know, buys resources from us, our cans, our, our canned foods, our raw meats and things like this, so that she can make this stuff and sell it back to us, which is, I kind of like the idea. She makes some good-ass food. She's, she spends a lot of her time beefing up her food creativity and her creations for food, so... She's the Iron Chef of our server. Zombie Cat Iron Chef. 
here she's got a couple other machines with some rare items in it and me medicine as well like i said she does do medications and stuff so if you're looking for medical stuff or any type of books or whatever can't find it anywhere else or any of the shops you can find it right here Now this is just a quick overview. Now there is another place that I did not show on here, and that is yeah. There's another shop that I didn't show here. I'm going to be doing a showcase for shops later on in the next video. It is a place um, Mercs R Us. I did not show that on video here. Actually, I was running running pretty low on time here. So here we have <laughs> here we have a base that we know nobody's getting in. I guarantee it. So he's got it well decorated here, orange and stuff, and he's got a room as a tribute to Mrs. Because Mrs. is crazy about some purple. So I come up in here looking. Oh, what the hell? Looks like Barney's up here. All I want to sing is I love you, you love me. Anyway, so yeah, it's a tribute to Mrs. <laughs> All this purple. It's a good color in there. It's, a, it's actually not bad. So here we have our starter base. So I put some, I put some, um, I put some spikes down on the ground here just to see what it would do. Most people do exactly what I'm showing you right here. They build a square box out of wood. They put some wood spikes everywhere just for protection, thinking that's going to help them. But that's not going to work right. So I'm going to go inside here and I'm going to spawn a mini horde that's going to come towards the base. So about 25 zombies are going to come over at us. There they come. And we're going to see how much damage they actually do. What do they do to the base? I'm going to try to defend it as a person started in the server would try to do as much as they can. Get off my lawn! Go away! No! Knocking on the door. Go away, I don't want none! I bought some yesterday. Get the hell on. Beat it. I don't want to talk about our Lord and Savior for three weeks. Get out. Alright, let me just pop these zombies. Try to... Try to piss them off a little bit. That's what I'm doing here. Oh, I took a hit there. Took a hit. Oh. No, we don't want nine. Oh, you got me through the door, you bastard. Filthy bastard. Alright, so let's see. I tried to film this during the daylight just to try to show so we could visually see what was going on, but, you know. It started getting dark because of a storm coming in. Apparently the game was getting ready for a rainstorm. So, yeah, I started repairing the door a little bit just to, just to try to prolong it a tad bit longer. But in the next run, I let it go, so... So all that noise you were hearing earlier was actually the zombies getting banged up on the spikes along the wall. So they really didn't get it, they didn't really get into the base or do any damage to the outer walls yet. But now they're beating on those walls now. They're hitting them. They're actually hitting them. You see the damage above the door? And they're ganging up, they're piling up in front of the door, which is they think is the easiest point of getting into the base. So if you were starting out on the server and you do something like this, a little wood box base, they're gonna come get you. Think a little bit more outside the box if you know what I'm saying. Alright, so I'm gonna take a dive here in just a few minutes here. Hmm, got the level 3 for getting my ass kicked. Alright, so he's down. Okay, so let's take a look real quick on the outside, on the outside of the base here and see what they've done. So they beat the spikes up here. They didn't really do much damage to the walls. Not yet. They beat the spikes up here. So this side got the hit got hit the hardest. They tore the shit at them spikes. There's no spikes there. So that's leaving bare wall. And that means they can pretty much do what they want. So let's go ahead. Oh, yellow bag. Can't resist yellow bag. All right. Well, let's go ahead and crash this out real quick and drag some more zombies up here. The problem with this, of having a base like this, is once they get into your location or they break into your base and they start trashing, you got your sleeping bag in here. If you get killed, and you spawn back at your bag, you're going to be right in with the zombies. And I'm going to show that in just a hot second here. So let's go ahead and try to get ourselves... Let's see if they can get through this door. I'm not going to try to repair it or anything else yet. I'm going to go ahead and let them try to trash it. So they're beating on the outer wall. And... Yeah, there you go. There's some damage marks there. When the zombies are in a group... Okay, when the zombies are in a group, they can cause a lot more damage. So when they start causing more damage, there's a problem. All right, they've already beaten the two top layers up. Texture's already changed. They're beating through the back of me right now, through the back base, so the base. 
That door is going to be going down in a minute. There we go. There we go. Beating the living shit out of that. There you go. There we go. Hi, welcome home. Come on in. So as soon as they kill my ass, it gets reset. And I'm gonna respawn back on the house again, which is not a good thing. You don't want you don't want to do this. So make sure that you put your spawn bag somewhere within your base that is not accessible by the zombie. Maybe near a, a hidden loot bag or a loot box or something. Yeah, I'm 41. I'm about to take a dive here. 32, 23. And done. Uh, and done. You just hear them chowing down. Y'all need some hot sauce? I need some hot sauce. Puts a whole new meaning to eat my ass, right? So here we go. Spawn on my bed. Now watch this. We're back in the house again. Now the zombies now know that I'm there. And here they go again with the striking at me. So I'm just start shooting at them. <laughs> oh, they push me from, oh, they push me out the back wall. Funny as hell. Now, in this case, I could run like hell and get out of there, but I'm going to just swing around the front here and just start shooting through the, through the hatchway here. So this is what happens when a small horde of 25 or so zombies come at your base. Well, in this case, it's actually 50 zombies. It's, I didn't let them call, all come at one time. If I would have let 50 at one time come, they'd have beat this to the ground. So when you're building your base, try to do something that doesn't quite look like this. If you can, get some stone and cobble that, cobble that wall up a little bit. It makes it a little harder for them. A lot of people just stick with wood. They try to go with the wood itself. But anyway... That is the end of our video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the like button as well. Leave a comment if you would. That'd be great. Anyway, this server is sponsored by PingPerfect.com. Have a great day.